Nothing encapsulates the winemaking heritage of South Australia quite like St Hugo. Their ancestors, the Gramps family, planted some of the very first vines here way back in 1847 and their history is truly fascinating. So he was a third generation of the Gramp family to have the, the business mm -hmm. and um, he was a real leader in the wine industry, very well respected, who tragically died in a plane crash in 1938. And then they named all of this after him. All of this after him, yeah. They think it's a wine he would have been very proud of. Today, what are some of the most popular labels for St Hugo? So uh, Cabernet Sauvignon is still winning gold medals with every release and uh, Shiraz has been very popular. The new home of St Hugo has been renovated from the ruins of the original Barossa winery. The dining room is located in a beautifully restored 1850s ironstone building and it's one of the top half dozen restaurants in South Australia. Our dishes are designed to sit, I think, underneath the, underneath the wine and let the wine shine. We start with uh, a tasting, normally involved in the whole kitchen staff, maybe winemakers. We'll look at the wine with about 60 odd flavours. 60? Yeah, broken into different categories, you know, the, the standard kind of sweet, sour, salty, bitter, starchy, fatty, all those kind of things. And it's a very simple scoring system. You put it in your mouth and you say, is that horrible? Is it okay? Is it good? Great, amazing. And, and they're creating a wine-centric cuisine. That's what we do. This is about being in one of the best wine regions in the world and producing food to go with it. 